Hello YouTube, welcome back over to Gaming House, and today we're going to be talking about something that feels like glossed over in Rainbow Six Siege, for those that are playing Rainbow Six Siege, which is of course a multiplayer oriented game, however, I feel as though people aren't talking so much about the Terrorist Hunt, which was a very popular mode from Vegas 1 and 2. So I said fuck it, and I'm going to do a video talking about the Terrorist Hunt in both the Vegas series as well as the Rainbow Six Siege series, or game possibly series we'll see where they go with it so I had to decide basically on a coin toss on which one I'd talk about first and based on the coin toss we're gonna talk go ahead and talk about the Vegas series of T-Hunt first starting off let's go ahead and run through the options of what's available in the terrorist hunt mode for Vegas and Vegas 2 uh, this will just be showing off what's available I just clicked on a bunch of things real quick you're able to skip through it if you'd like to all the way until I start talking again because it's gonna be a minute or so of me not talking And as we can see from that, the options available in, Ve uh, I believe I, I used Vegas 2 for the example, Vegas 1's got just as many options for customization as well as options for the terrorist on mode. But it's got a plethora of options available from selecting difficulty to enemy density, maps, as well as respawns, the fact that you can customize characters, not as much in detail as customizing weapons versus Siege's customization of weapons. Another thing to defer the two is, of course, Vegas's has different mechanics. While also being a third-person shooter, it has a third-person perspective when you go into cover. It has a cover system, and that in combination with its customization to the operator, as well as the amount of control a player has and how they play it, I find the Vegas T-Hunt modes to be much more enjoyable and more fun in that aspect. Given the fact that it's not as realistic as Siege's, you have these close encounter moments where you can be almost killed by NPCs, but because you don't have a set amount of health, your health regens, you can get back into action as long as you take cover, maybe your teammates bail you out, but you're able to get back in a fight. And if you get in a position where the AI headshots you, or perhaps you rounded a corner and they just put you down real quick, uh, depending on how many respawns are set in, you can at least get back into action at least once allowing you to keep playing and not just watch your friends play it for the rest of the match. Another thing to mention is of course the with the difficulty in enemy densities is if you're looking for any form of challenge and in my opinion is how you should be playing DT hunts on both Vegas 1 and 2 is that you need to set it to realistic difficulty for any sort of challenge as well as set the enemy density high which is great for when it's high because on average in Vegas 2 I believe it ranges anywhere between 30 to 40 enemies per map with some I think going higher and in Vegas 1 it's about the same with the exception of Wartown which actually had 70 enemies in it that you could kill. So now that we've talked a bit about Vegas's terror hunt let's go ahead and switch over to talking about Siege's terror hunt. Uh, going ahead starting off we're going to dive into the options that are available again it's just going to be admitted so me not talking showing off the options. Uh, I did not go into the operators because as with Siege you just select the operators and they have their set weapons. Uh, you can't really customize the operator itself but the weapons have their own customization as well as skins.
Now, as you can see, and one of my major gripes about this terrorist taunt uh, for Siege is there is a severe lack of freedom and control on the player side. There is no custom terrorist taunt as there is a custom game for multiplayer, which has a lot of options available. Unfortunately, that's not available for terrorist hunt for really no reason whatsoever. But that la those lack of options uh, really limit the fun factor in Siege. Uh, what I do like is that there is a lot more game modes, of course, and that adds a lot more variety, with the exception of my entire team has turned off Defend because of one of the issues I'm going to talk about right now, which is the small Terrorist Hunt numbers, therefore making some modes such as Defend and Terrorist Hunt extremely boring on lower difficulties and even on the middle difficulties because of the lack of enemies that you can encounter. only one. The, all the enemies can come to one side, so only one to two people will actually be engaging enemies while three or more, possibly, of your teammates don't get any action whatsoever in that entire game. Now, unfortunately, also with the lack of control both in selecting maps as well as enemy density, I'll use for example, of course, the only time the enemy density changes is if you purposely take it up in difficulty which, as I suggested for Vegas, that's the way you should be playing it for any sort of challenge, is to take up the difficulty all the way to realistic. Now, if you want max numbers of enemies, you have to take it all the way up to realistic in, in Siege's Terrorist Hunt. But unfortunately, with Siege's Terrorist Hunt, their AI functions differently. While the AI in Vegas may seem pretty dumb, but if you expose yourself long enough, eventually they'll get shots on you, as well as lucky shots and insta-kills with headshots. In... Sieges, the AI is just compensated for ridiculously and retardedly fucking in their direction with the fact that they get perfect connection to the game because they're AI, as well as the amount of aim assist and everything else that they get and the auto aiming they get, which I'm going to show you an example that I just simply pulled from me dicking around uh, by myself in realistic mode. And that there shows the ridiculousness of the AI in there. The fact that they get unrealistic, like these pinpoint, straight, 100% accurate rounds. And not to mention that the AI occasionally, even on normal difficulty, detects you through walls and will start shooting you through walls despite actually not knowing that you're fully there. A thing that I do like about Siege's terrorist hunt modes, while also being part of the reason it's different from Vegas, was of course the fact that it's... First off, harder. It's harder across all modes of the how much they boost the AI. And that they also have this more realistic kind of setting with, of course, health regen being gone and no respawns, which might kill a fun factor depending on how you want to play the game. If you want to play a game that's semi-more realistic or you want to play a game that's more fun-oriented. Like I mentioned with Vegas, of course, you get in a close encounter, you can, like, back up from the situation, your health will health will uh, replenish and you can get back in a fight or if you die at least once you could at least respawn on a realistic mode at least once whereas in this game if you get into a fuck scenario and lose all your health practically well you're fucked the rest of that game and are more than likely unless you get very lucky you're probably gonna die in the next like five minutes so if i had to pick which one i'd like more i'd prefer of course the vegas series of terrorist hunt because that has more options character customization of course as well as lot more freedom that we're able to choose and do what we do in the terrorist hunt modes and while siege does have things I like about it, such as more mode varieties of course you know graphics sound all those other things that come with being a newer game 
the lack of freedom and the lack of options we have until they patch in or do a custom terrorist on game mode. Uh, I'm gonna always say that Siege's Terrace on Mode is a distant second or third if you wish to include Vegas 1 and 2 as like two separate games. But that'll do it. That's uh, Those are my opinions. What I gotta say about the Terrace on Modes of both the Vegas series as well as the Siege series. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. Feel free to definitely check out the channel, uh, particularly if you're interested in the walkthroughs uh, that we did of the Vegas 1 and 2 terrorist hunts. Those will be right up here in a link for the playlist for those. And as always, you're welcome to come back over to Gaming House for more gameplay and commentary.